Hello, hello ladies. Welcome back to my channel. It is a Friday and we have yet another fashion haul and it is the first of, since I signed the contract with Peacocks, this is the first of our 12 month contract. Hoping it's going to be longer than that, hoping it's gonna be a really successful collaboration. So as you know, I am a massive fan of Peacocks. I'm a massive fan of Louise Redknapp's collections as and when they come out. So for me, this is literally a dream collaboration. I know that these videos are super super popular so I'm very very excited. Um, before we crack on with this week's haul I've got a little list as I normally do it's very very short I'm going to whiz quickly through it. The giveaway if you missed who won it was announced on my Instagram at about half past eight on the 27th of March which was on Monday um, and it was a lovely lady Teresa um, and she's over the moon and I sent it out to her yesterday big big box so for all those who didn't win I know it's disappointing but we've made one lady very very happy which is amazing and that is what it's all about um, I will be doing more giveaways on this channel as well and as I collaborate with more brands they're also interested in doing giveaways as well so going forward the giveaways could get better and better and better which is fabulous um, if you're following me on Instagram you will know that um, on Monday I went down to London to get my follow up treatment on my lip blushing journey and it's all done and dusted I'm not going to talk too much about it at the moment because I am putting out a separate video. I'm hoping to get that out next week actually so fingers crossed if I have enough time um, I'll get that out next week as well but overall I'm very very happy so I can't wait to tell you all about that little journey. Um, last but not least this is my yellow jumper from my apricot haul last week the one that I was so so excited to show you because I could eventually put it on and wear it. As I was editing and doing all the final bits to last week's video I realized on the website that it had gone down from £32 to £19 so this is now £19. It's such a beautiful soft jumper honestly ladies 19 quid i would do it especially with my free delivery code which is all the ladies fd right that is it let's crack on with this peacock's haul it's a biggie as always we've got a real mix with this video because we're still into season if that is even an expression you get so optimistic when the sun comes out and you think spring's here and then three days later it's a frost so um in this haul we are looking at louise redknapp's new collection which i think consists of about 10 to 12 items and then I have pulled in a lot of key pieces from the main collection new arrivals as well and we've got a bit of everything so let's start with a bit of footwear let's talk about the mule or the clog I mean is this a mule a clog or a, a mog or a cure nobody knows these come in at 24 pounds these are fab now this is the type of shoe that I need this is perfect for somebody who is on the slightly shorter side like myself so I'm five foot four I like a bit of a heel but in the summer and when you're wearing shorts and when you're wearing a mini dress and you don't particularly want to be tittering around um, in heels something with a platform that doesn't elevate your foot arch so much is absolutely perfect and you can walk around all day in them every now and then that Scottish accent pops out I don't know why um, these are all faux leather and I love the fact that it is this lovely deep brown you've got the studding as well we've seen this quite a lot over the years and they just keep coming back gorgeous faux leather actually looks really really realistic I would say that probably gives you a good four to five inches in height but like I said the instep isn't that great so looking forward to trying those on with some of the outfits these come in at 24 pounds these are in a UK four because I am a UK four another pair of shoes I picked up which were these I love these so okay I have just mentioned about I like a bit of height but equally if I'm on holiday or if I'm just having a chilled out day um, these are going to be absolutely spot on I tell you what their faux leathers at the moment are getting better and better for somebody who doesn't buy leather products, this is just music to my ears, to be quite honest with you, or music to my eyes. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with those. I will say as well, these are a little bit sketches like They've got a padding in them and it is really quite spongy and soft. I bet these are an absolute dream to wear. These come in at £16. That is a fab price. These also come, I think, in black as well. But I wanted to get the tan because I like tan. Um, so those are those. I'm showing you all these accessories first because I want to be able to team them up with some of the outfits right let's go on to accessories 
This is totally different. It's a wicker bag. It's almost a basket bag. It's very summery. I mean, if this doesn't scream that summer's around the corner, then I don't know what does. But equally, you can wear this now. This is a springy type bag. It's fab, actually. It's got a load of space inside. You can hold it as a top handle bag like this, or you can pop it over your shoulder and have it hanging down. You got options. Um, and inside you have a zip, which is nice. Not a lot of basket bags have zips or internal zips inside. So your stuff's going to be secure. Goes all the way along. Nothing's coming out of that. So I thought that was fab. And as you know, I love a bit of orange. I love a bit of peach. That is a gorgeous bag. I've just seen the price and it's actually quite surprising. £16. Not a bad price for that at all. That is very, very much a spring summer bag. So we're seeing signs of warmer weather to come. Um, and the last accessory is this. Oh, now this is just a bit of me. Again, if you are not a leather buyer, Peacocks is the place to go because their faux leathers are fabulous. This I would call a satchel bag and it's got a flap as well, which I love. Oh, it's magnetic as well, which is fab. You cannot go wrong with a crossbody satchel bag and oh God, it's really soft as well. Can you see that? It's quite a malleable material, which is really, really nice. I do like more of a slouchy kind of material and it just pops in like that. These wide canvas straps as well are still very, very much in. But look, dun, 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 that is a very, very long strap. So if you like a much longer strap, right over the body like so, but equally, if you wanna shorten it, there we go. And that is the shortest that it goes. That's pretty nifty as well. So perfect, love that. How much was this? 18 pounds, so a couple of pounds more than that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right, let's move on to some clothing so we can style the outfits up with these accessories. Uh, we're going to start off with the Louise Redknapp edit. I don't know if you've noticed, but these roses I got for Mother's Day and they're absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is not dyed. That is a natural colour. I'm just absolutely bewildered by these roses. I thought I'll definitely have those in my video today. I love a flower me. Right, first item or items. And if you are following me on Instagram, you will have seen this. This is actually a two-piece set. A three-quarter length sleeve blouse and matching shorts. Gorgeous. I mean, what a striking pattern for starters. I love a monochrome, but it's not a usual monochrome pattern. This comes in at 20 pounds. It's a very, very silky material material. It's got a sheen and it's very, very silky, very, very soft. It has no buttons. It looks like a blouse, but it's actually a top. You've got the V-neck, you've got a collar. This is quite an unusual vibe. It's a three-quarter length sleeve, but it's loose. Almost like a long sleeve t-shirt vibe, but in a out-out type material. Anyway, um, then it comes with these fab shorts. They are gorgeous. I can see this outfit with those dark brown wedgie clog mule things. I could equally see it with some white or nude heels from what a more of a going out vibe. Also, what you've got to remember as well, yes, they are created as a two-piece, but what's to say that you can't wear this with a plain black blouse or a black long sleeve body? Equally with the blouse as well, why not wear that over some faux leather trousers until the weather gets to the point where you can really wear that as a warmer weather outfit. I thought that was fab. The blouse is £20, the shorts are £16. So for £36, you've got a really fab, fun, out-out outfit. Everything I've got in this haul, I've got to say, I believe is in a UK 10. Another key piece that she's just been rocking in this new collection is the white blazer. It's the white or the cream long line blazer and you cannot go wrong with a blazer. You know I love a blazer. In fact, I think I need to do a blazer haul just to kind of check out what is going on this season. Right, this again, size 10, it's 30 pounds. Now this blazer comes in quite a lot of colors, but she's brought in the cream one for this season. You'll see how all of the pieces in this collection kind of marry up with each other. So this would look fabulous over, and I'm probably modeling it over that two piece that you've just seen. I think that would be a fab vibe as well. Casual it up maybe with some little pumps. So yeah, whatever your vibe is, but you cannot go wrong. With a blazer, I do like to kind of roll it up, maybe three quarter length sleeve type vibe. And I tend to leave them open as well. If you're wearing this casual outfit, this is going to smart casual it, if you know what I mean. Just looking at the website now, it comes in red, brown, tan, beige, black, and blue and this color which is a cream or off-white so there you go 30 pounds for that it's in a uk 10 and i'm going to get a lot of wear out of that 
Right, these, I've actually got two of these. These are part of her new collection and they have this tie at the front, which I've never, oh, and at the back. And I think what you do is you pull it round and it kind of creates this kind of gathered side detail, maybe potentially bringing it you in at the waist. I haven't tried this on, so I don't know how that is looking, but looking at the website, she looks good. This comes in four different colors. It comes in at 18 pounds. I'm wearing it in a UK 10. This is the khaki color. It also comes in a black, a royal blue and a turquoise as well but I'm just keeping it quite neutral keeping it quite a natural vibe best way for me to describe this material is a very good quality t-shirt material um, and it has a little bit of stretch as well it's that perfect spring summer dress that you can absolutely team with that cream long line blazer and the chunky mules in fact on the website it says wear with they name those two things so um, I think that's a fab vibe a very casual vibe and very much a in between season type vibe as well so yeah looking forward to trying that that comes in at 18 pounds also got it in the black of course and again the same kind of vibe pumps sandals heeled clogs smarten it up with the blazer you could wear a denim jacket with it um, as well so this is one of those kind of classic simple pieces that could look really really good they're 18 pounds I was wearing them both in a UK 10 now talking of a denim jacket peacocks as you know are so so good at uh, their denim jackets season after season after season and as you know, I do have quite a few of their denim jackets. Now, this is the new one that is out with the new Louise Redknapp collection. My gosh, it looks tiny, doesn't it? I probably would have got this in a UK 12. Just bear that in mind. They come up quite small, these, but I'd wear it undone anyway. It's a gorgeous denim and it's a really, really good colour. Do you remember when dirty denim was just a real thing? I was never really into the dirty denim. I do like a fresher stone wash. There you go. That is your kind of perfect outer layer for this kind of in-between season that we're going through at the moment and it's just got that really cool vibe now this could be teamed with the black and the khaki dress it could also go over that black and white monochrome two-piece a denim jacket never goes out of fashion this comes in at 30 pounds so not bad at all as you know denim jackets last a lifetime so unless you end up selling it or giving it to charity this will last you many many years and like I said I probably could have got it in a in a UK 12 I do like to size up but I didn't I got it in a UK 10 but that I can tell you ladies is a fab piece Right, let's let's talk about their kind of staple jeans. It's the Holly jean. I've got a couple of pairs of these and they are so soft. We're talking the softest denim ever. Now, part of her new collection, she has added a beautiful cream off-white jean. Again, perfect for this kind of in-between season. I got them in a UK 10 and then when they arrived, I remember thinking the last 10 I tried was maybe a little bit too big and I had to reorder the eight. So silly me, they'll still look fine, but I do prefer them a little bit tighter. So anyway, this is the Holly. It's in a relaxed straight leg. As you know, I am super fussy about my jeans, but these have always been a go-to jean. So I got it in a 10 long. They're only 25 pounds, which is quite surprising. I don't believe they've even gone up in price, maybe by a pound. These would be fab with those flat sandals. I think I probably wear the flat sandals. Maybe even roll up the leg because it's already been started. So I think that's the kind of vibe that you can have with these. The colors fab. It's that slightly softer kind of winter white. I do love a winter white. So yeah, spring cream, a spring cream vibe. I love those. Alongside this kind of more chilled vibe of her collection, she's also brought out, and I think this is the only one that kind of was represented on her collection, but I've actually got two. So let me just show you this one very, very briefly. My goodness, this material is so, so soft. So again, imagine an extremely good quality, super soft t-shirt material. This comes in at 14 pounds. I'm wearing it in a UK 10. That just absolutely absolutely screams summer holiday to me. You've got Venice Beach written down here. You've got a drop bottom, so a little bit longer on your bottom, which is absolutely what we want. But the key feature on these t-shirts is the length of the sleeve. I'm not overly conscious about my upper arms, but I know that it's quite a common concern. So having that longer sleeve hides that upper arm, but still gives you that very youthful vibe. So I absolutely love this. 14 pounds for that t-shirt. And then like I just showed you a second ago, there is another one. I'm not sure if this is part of her actual collection, but I may as well show you them both at the same time. Again, £14. Love this blue. What a beautiful blue. I'm getting quite Greek vibes from this pattern and colouring. So yeah, there we go. Absolutely gorgeous t-shirts and so, so soft. The key thing with a t-shirt is to not think, oh, if I'm wearing a t-shirt, then I'm just not really making an effort. Mm -mm. Pop that 
cream blazer on with one of these t-shirts and you've instantly smartened it up. The t-shirt is no longer a casual piece. So I would absolutely do that with this one. The tan sandals, similar coloring to the pattern on the t-shirt. So that could be a really nice, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Um, so anyway, those are those two t-shirts. I believe there were more t-shirts, but those are the two patterns that I really liked. Right, talking of blazers, again, I did pick up another one. We can't have enough blazers. <laughs> This is her chocolate brown blazer. So it's the same as the cream blazer. It's 30 pounds. I'm wearing it in a UK 10. And this, I guess, maybe is more for now. It's so funny because I'm looking outside my window and it is absolutely horrendous out there. It's dark, it's miserable. Um, and I'm talking about spring. So I think for me, this is perfect for now. This is perfect for wearing over jeans and some boots. And then moving on to the cream blazer in a few weeks time when the weather gets a little bit warmer. I think from what I remember as well, they are, yep, they are machine washable as well. So easy peasy, a really, really good piece to have in your wardrobe. Okay, let's talk about the two-piece. This has been all over Instagram, this two-piece. Right, so for starters, I'll just show you the blouse first. Again, it's this crinkle cotton, a slightly different material to, oh, lovely, love a wrist cuff. Um, slightly different to the kind of cheesecloth shorts from earlier, but it still has that textured vibe. Whoa, we'll be seeing a lot of these kind of relaxed two-piece sets at the moment. The trouser, almost like the trouser outfit, which I do, I, I've got to say, I do love that vibe. I think it can look absolutely fab. I mean, even with the shirt kind of done up quite high over the wide leg trousers, which we've got here, you've got the pockets as well in the trousers. Now this, I believe comes in black and it comes in, oh God, I didn't even see this. Oh, bottoms. Okay. So it comes in a natural as well, which is gorgeous. Oh my giddy. It's almost like a mink color. That's absolutely stunning. If I see that, I am getting that faux show. So wide leg trousers, here we go. I did get them in a 10. I think I could have possibly got them in an eight. Pocket. .com. Loving the pockets, it just makes it much more relaxed vibe. These actually don't look too bad. They look like they could go down to the floor and I'm really, really hoping that. If that's the case, then I could wear these with a pair of heels or the heeled clogs from earlier. So there we go. These trousers, sorry, I haven't told you the price, 20 pounds. I'm wearing it in a UK 10. And the crinkle blouse or crinkle shirt that goes with the trousers, 20 pounds. So you're paying 40 pounds for a fab spring summer outfit. It's a very Mediterranean vibe, whether you live there or if you visit there. Now I know you don't want to talk about shorts just yet, but these are part of her new edit. These are the crinkle cotton shorts. And honestly, these are fab. They come with a pocket. You don't need to iron them. They're supposed to look almost cheesecloth-y. That's what I thought the material was, but they call it the crinkle cotton. But I think it's more like a cheesecloth type material. Do you know I love a pocket? So these were absolutely fab. They're 15 pounds. I've got them in a UK 10. Now looking at the website, they come in blue, coral, and white. So you've got a little select there of colors. They're shorts that are not too short. I don't want to wear short shorts these days. So they should be a fairly good length. This weather changes so quickly. So I know looking at shorts is like, what? Have you seen the weather outside, Emily? Um, it will change very, very quickly. Anyway, 15 pounds for these. I thought these were fab. You've got an elasticated waist. It's not a pulley. It's more of a decorative bow. So it doesn't actually pull you in. Don't be scared by the shorts. Difficult to imagine it, but shorts weather is coming. This is her um, Bardot top. I think she's seen wearing with jeans. Yeah, in her pickies on the website, she's actually wearing it uh, off the shoulder um, and just wearing it with a pair of Holly jeans. She's wearing it off the shoulder and it comes in at 16 pounds. It's almost like a lycra material, but not as shiny. So that is going to cling, absolutely. A really pretty basic, which you could dress up or down. Oh, just love it. So this is her mink suede biker jacket. It comes in at 32 pounds. I just love this colour and you should feel it. Honestly, it's unbelievable. Um, you'll notice on the website, they do have a suede jacket in the main collection, not the Louise Redknapp edit. So I don't know whether she kind of puts her name to a colour that goes with her collection or something. Um, this comes in at £32 I'm wearing in a UK 10. I would absolutely wear it undone as a casual kind of waterfall style short jacket. I think that would work really nicely, even with a white blouse underneath it and just over some nice jeggings. Um, and some loafers on the bottom. I think that would be a nice vibe. I've actually got this in the kind of tan colour and it's absolutely gorgeous, but I've got to say, I think I prefer the mint colour. So that is going to be my new 
new spring jacket. £32, like I said, it is part of the Louise Redknapp edit. I will link everything down below. Do not panic. Let's move on to the main collection. We haven't had enough dresses, have we? But now we do. Can we just have a moment for this dress? This is a bit of something else. It's a beautiful, bold print in this absolutely stunning blue and beige or stone background. The pleating is something very, very different. There's a lot of material which gives it a lot of movement at the bottom part of the body. But then you've got this extremely unusual tie waist belt here. Absolutely beautiful shirt dress, right? I am wearing it in a UK 10. Um, you've got long sleeves. They're not cuffed, but they are elasticated and it's collared as well. Now, I know this isn't feel of vision, but I bet you this is viscose. Absolutely, it's 100% viscose. I can feel how incredibly soft it is. And as you know, I love viscose. So this does not disappoint. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm thinking flat sandals, high heels, pumps even, whatever your vibe, that could actually really work quite nicely. Ooh, this comes in a red and beige. It also comes in a monochrome print as well so definitely worth checking these out for me the blue wins all day long so there we go I'm wearing it the UK 10 um, and it was 30 pounds oh my kitty honestly this is something that Lisa Snowden would have an absolute ball with um this is very much a 1970s print but wow big daisies the print is just everything to me I love it I love it 25 pounds it's in a UK 10 it's very much a drop almost like a column dress I would call it it does have a split I'd say about a 16 inch split at the bottom I think on me this is probably going to be a mid-axi. Good length sleeves, not massively long, but it's just covering over the top part of the arm. Very simple round neck. On the back, you have a zip and the zip starts just here. So you have a little keyhole peekaboo hole there. I really, really, really hope that the 10 fits. This would be fab with a denim jacket. Just loving the print. And to top it all off, it's 100% viscose. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, vegan chicken dinner. So there we go, 25 pounds, UK 10. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this next piece is fabulous. This is a jumpsuit. We haven't done a jumpsuit so far, have we? No. And what a fabulous jumpsuit this is. This is considered a utility jumpsuit. It's called a utility jumpsuit because you have the collar, the buttons, and the belt. It's quite a kind of tailored, structured jumpsuit. I am loving this waist belt and the fact that it has really thick belt loops here as well. I like that. They kind of made it a feature. I'm going to try and wear those clogs with this because I think I might might need a little bit of height. It is an extremely lightweight material and it just has all of those tick factors. So you've got this beautiful waist belt which is just going to shape this piece up no end. And, and there's pockets. You've got a really flattering length sleeve as well. Then you've got these contrast buttons and a wide leg. So I'm really feeling positive about this. I'm wearing it in a UK 10, 30 pounds. It's not bad, it's not bad. You've got a whole outfit here. You don't have to put anything else to it apart from an extra layer up top. Yeah. I really, really love that. £30 and it's in a UK 10. Another absolutely stunning dress. This is more of a midi dress or maybe a mid-axi dress, but the pattern to me just really stood out. This also comes in more of a kind of a monochrome florally print, but I kind of thought it's kind of been done. Let's have a look and see what this kind of limey green looks like. Again, it's viscose, so it's extremely soft material. You've got buttons all the way down to, well, pretty much the bottom, maybe about 10 inches before the bottom with a little bit of a split. It's kind of elasticated well is elasticated around the side of the waist so I don't know if that's going to kind of help to accentuate or maybe that kind of goes in and that can puff out a bit I'm not too sure how that's going to fit you could absolutely wear a waist belt with it like the model is on the website I'll try it with a belt and I'll try it without a belt potentially I could have got this in an eight uh, because I didn't realize that it did have that kind of give around the waist but you know what it'll work very floppy flowy kind of cap sleeves as well so just covering the top part of the arms uh, and a simple v-neck so yeah i think that's beautiful that is 26 pounds um, and i'm wearing it in a uk 10.
This final dress is so, so pretty. Oh my giddy. This is beautiful. This has a real kind of boho vibe to it. Lisa Snowden would bloody love this. It's very much, again, that kind of relaxed, chilled, but very feminine vibe. But it's got a lot of skirt to it. And you've also got a tearing at the bottom. Sharing, sharing, sharing. I've got to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen something shared all the way from the waist, all the way over the shoulder and on the back as well. I'm assuming this is going to kind of wrap itself around whatever you have going on up top. I don't know. It looks very, very flattering on the picture on the website. So the colour is beautiful as well. If I bring it in, you can actually see that there is a pattern there, almost like a ditzy print pattern. Very much a spring summer dress. And again, you could wear it now because there's enough of it. Pumps and a denim jacket on a slightly warmer day. And then going into the summer, pop the sandals with it. Lovely sombrero hat and some big shades and you're away. This is 100% viscose as well. So I did have to check it because I was like, hang on, this is super soft. If you're part of the 100% viscose fan club, then this is probably a fabulous dress for you. So there we go. It's 26 pounds in a UK 10 and that is in their new arrivals on their website. So ladies, that was everything. <gasps> That was all of the new Louise Redknapp edit. That was all of my recommendations from the new arrivals at this moment in time. However, in four weeks, I'll be popping out another one of these videos. I think by that time, it'll definitely be spring, springified. Um, so very, very excited about that one as well. Right, a few quick necessities. If you are new here and you have not yet pressed the subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it if you would do that. It's really, really helping me to grow and I can only do this with the help of my lovely, lovely subscribers. Right, ladies, I'm going to stop waffling. Have a fantastic Easter. Right, so next week, I won't be posting on Friday because I'm actually driving down to Dover to see my sister and her family. But all being well, I am popping out a video next week. It will be a short video just to keep you ticking over so you don't forget me. Um, and I will see you the following Friday for another fashion haul. So have a fantastic Easter and I will see you on the flip side. Bye. Tonight we're running on the right track.